So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw the circle of Willis. Part of the battle when you're in medical school and you're taking your neurology exams or even on step one or level one is that being able to produce the circle of Willis is pretty difficult because it's a bunch of random arteries that are on the base of the, ba the brain and uh, it's definitely not easy to draw. For and to draw the circle of Willis, all you need to do is draw a stick figure. So like any good stick figure, we're going to start with the head. So when we draw the head, we just draw a circle. And this corresponds to a few arteries in our circle of Willis. So first we start with going right through the middle of the cerebrum or the middle of the head. And because it goes right through the middle, this is going to be our middle cerebral artery. It's going right through the middle of the cerebrum. The next one we're going to draw is on the anterior top portion of the cerebrum. And because it's the anterior top, it's the anterior cerebral arteries. And of course these are bilateral. So you've got the anterior cerebrals here and the middle cerebrals here. Now the middle cerebrals feed into two arteries that are the internal carotids. And the internal carotids are the eyes of the stick figure. And this is really easy to remember because I see out of my eyes, or ICA. ICA for internal carotid artery and I see out of my eyes. The last one that you need to know is we're going to give him a little collar. And these are the posterior cerebral arteries because when you wear a collar, it kind of wraps around the back of your neck to the posterior portion of the cerebrum or touches the posterior part of your head. So the collar on our stick figure is the posterior cerebral artery. So just in review, anterior on the front top, middle, going through the middle of the cerebrum, giving rise to where I see because it's giving rise to the eyes of the stick figure. I see A for internal carotid and posterior cerebral is our collar that touches the posterior part of the cerebrum. Now the stick figure needs a body, so we draw the body all the way down. This body is the basilar artery because it's the base of our stick figure. And there's a couple things you need to know here. There's going to be these little teeny arteries coming off the basilar artery, and these are pontine arteries. Now the way that I remember this is that these look like little french fries and poutine, which sounds like pontine, is french fries in gravy. Now the next thing we do is we draw two arteries coming off the basilar and these are the anterior inferior cerebellar arteries or the acas. And on our stick figure, if he was to have low back pain, it would occur right here in his low back. And in his low back, he'd have a low back ache or a low back acha. So the achas correspond to the region on the stick figure where you might expect to find low back pain. Now the, the two legs is a giant upside down V, which reminds you that this is the vertebral arteries, vertebral artery. And coming off the vertebral artery are two important arteries that are very easy to remember using this mnemonic. First, you draw this little teeny artery coming inward. And it looks like toes, right? It looks like the toes of the stick figure. These are the posterior inferior cerebellar arteries, or the picas. And if you ever heard a parent talk to their, their child, their baby, their infant, they call these piggy toes. You've got your little piggy toes, or your little pica toes. So pica reminds me of toes because it sounds like piggy toes, and that's how you talk to a baby. The other one comes down just like that. This is the anterior spinal artery, or the assa. Poop would come right out of its ass, or right out of its assa, A-S-A. This is really easy, right guys? The head for the cerebrals, PCA is the collar, MCA right through the middle, easy to remember, I, I see out of my eyes, and anterior on the top front. Pontine off of our base, basilar. Pontine sounds like poutine, which is french fries and gravy, and these look like little french fries. Acha, because you have your low back ache right here in the lower lumbar area of our stick figure. Upside down V for vertebral. Pica toes, which sound like piggy toes. It's the toes of the stick figure. And you poop right out your ass or your assa, and that's right where those are. The only other arteries that you need to know, and you're just going to have to memorize them, one is right here. This is going to be your superior cerebellar artery. And the other is actually off of the MCA. It kind of dips down like right here. That's going to be your anterior choroidal arteries. 
right here between the anterior, uh, kind of like right here on the stick figure, that is your anterior communicating artery because off of them you get what looks like antennas. And if you were going to communicate to aliens, your anterior communicating artery would be right there because the communicating antennas are right there. But that's it. That's how you draw the circle of will 